Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at the existence of solutions of equations and to do this we'll use one of the most famous theorems in mathematics, Bolzano's theorem. Are you ready? Let's discover the maths. We want to show that the equation tan x equals 2 cos x has some solution on the open interval 0 pi over 3. And as I said, we're going to use Bolzano's theorem. Remember that Bolzano's theorem says that if we have a continuous function f defined on a closed interval a, b in R, such that f of a times f of b is less than zero, then there is a C in the open interval AB such that F at C equals zero. What does it mean if F at A times F at B is less than zero? F at A and F at B must have different signs. Now let's consider our equation. As usual, we'll move everything onto one side. In this case, we'll move 2 cos x to the left-hand side by subtracting. So we get tan x minus 2 cos x equals 0. And if we put f of x equal to tan x minus 2 cos x, then clearly finding a solution to the equation is equivalent to finding a value that zeroes this function. Since we want to show that our equation has a solution in the open interval 0 pi over 3, we consider the function f defined in the closed interval 0 pi over 3 in R. Notice that our function is the subtraction of two functions. First we have tan x. Recall the graphical representation of tangent. Well, pi over 3 is smaller than uh, pi over 2. So here we have pi over 3. And in this part, the graph of the tangent is this. So tangent is a continuous function in the interval 0 pi over 3. Now, since cos x is continuous for all r, it's continuous in 0 pi over 3 and so also is 2 cos x. The subtraction of continuous functions is a continuous function, therefore we have that f is continuous on the interval 0 pi over 3. Now we'll calculate the images of f at the ends of the interval. For f at 0, we substitute 0 for x in f, so that we have tan 0 minus 2 times cos 0. Well, tan 0 is 0, cos 0 is 1, which is minus 2. Now we'll calculate f at pi over 3. So we have tan of pi over 3 minus 2 times cos pi over 3. Now tan pi over 3, we'll write it here, is sine pi over 3 over cos pi over 3. Remember that sine pi over 3 is root 3 over 2 over cos pi over 3, which is a half. So we end up with the square root of 3, and we'll substitute it here. Now we have minus 2 times cos pi over 3, which we know is a half. So we're left with root 3, which is approximately 1.73, minus 2 times a half, which is 1, giving us 0 0.73. Notice that f at 0 is negative, f at pi over 3 is positive, so they have different signs. All the conditions of Bolzano's theorem are fulfilled. f is continuous in the closed interval 0 pi over 3, and the images at the ends have different signs. Consequently, there exists C belonging to the open interval 0 pi over 3, 
such that f at c equals 0. We know that this c is a solution of our equation. Therefore, we've just shown that the equation has some solution in the open interval 0 pi over 3. I hope you found this useful. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you again very soon to discover more maths.